Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright guys, welcome back. In the last episode, we created the About page, and we created the Home page, and we made sure that those pages were, were able to be linked together in the sidebar uh, so that we have active links. So, the next thing that we need to do is create our contacts page. And the reason I, in the last episode, I wanted to make a contact controller is because we are going to have two different routes. Um, and I kind of wanted to group them together inside a, a, of their own individual controller rather than just the pages controller. Um, and you'll see, on, you'll understand why in just a bit. So in our uh, routes, HTTP routes file, uh, we'll go ahead and uncomment this route get contact and contact controller, and we'll just put get contact and then uh, contact.show as the name. We'll save that, we'll go to our terminal, and we'll type in php artisan make controller contact controller. Oh, whoops, ha, I forgot to I put a space there, my bad. Contact controller, wonderful. All right, now let's go ahead and open up the controller, contact controller, and we don't need that, and we don't need the partials. All right, so this is going to be uh, show contact form page, and this is going to be slash contact. And so we need to find a new public function, just like always, get contact. That's how what we said. Yep, get contact. Or actually, let's uh, get, um, let's do show form. That'll be a little bit better. So, show form. And we'll go ahead and return a view of uh, contact dot form. That's what we're going to go ahead and return the view. So we need to create a new folder, contact, uh, or contact, and we need to create not a new folder. We need to create a new file uh, called form.blade.php. We're going to go ahead and extend the layouts dot app. We are going to create a title section. And this is going to be contact us. We're going to create another section of content. We'll end this con or end this section here. And what we want to do is we want to create a uh, another row. And inside that row, we want to have a column of uh, small eight. And we're also going to have a offset of small two and then we are going to also put in a uh, form uh, inside of there and that'll be good and so the action is going to be uh, route uh, or actually the action right now is not going to be anything because we haven't defined it so we will save that and inside of our form, or actually, let's see here. Uh, yeah, nope. inside of our column small eight, we're gonna go ahead and put an H1 of contact us. Save, and we'll go back to our website, refresh, and we need to change this sidebar here. So we'll go to partials sidebar, uh, we don't need it to be disabled, and the route is going to be contact.show, and this is going to be contact, save, refresh. Now we'll go ahead and click on contact, contact us, wonderful. All right, so I'll also put an HR tag there, and we will save uh, the method is going to be post and 
the let's see here the method's going to be post right yes method's going to be post okay and we need to create a label for name and inside of that we're just going to call it name and we are going to create a new input input type is text name equals name class is going to be form control save that refresh it form why can't i spell control form control awesome so there's the name and i actually don't like how big this form is so let's go ahead and do six and then we'll have an offset of three save three six uh yeah right yeah cool perfect that looks a lot better wonderful so now we'll go ahead and uh, do another label. This is gonna be for email. And this is going to be email. And the input type is going to be email. The name is going to be email. And the class is going to be form control again. And the next one is label for message. Message. The it's going to be a text area. Name is going to be message. We don't need an ID. And we'll save it. Actually, we need to also create a class of form control for this one as well refresh wonderful now as you can see the email label is touching the uh the input on the top and same with the message so we need to add some margin there um, and that's a wonderful thing of uh bootstrap is it gives us these margin uh classes that we can use um, so we're going to define margin top and we'll use three. You can go from one to five, but we'll just use three. Refresh, that looks decent, wonderful. And now we need a button. And the button type is going to be submit, and we're just going to create send email. And this is actually going to be a class of BTN, BTN, uh, success and we will put this as a btn block as well refresh also notice that the send email button is touching the input uh, so we need to put margin top three there as well and as you can see it's still it's actually touching the bottom of the page so we'll just do margin uh Y, which is uh, top and bottom, save and refresh. And now you can see that it's on the bottom. So if I wanted to do uh, horizontally, left and right, I can do X. Uh, y is top and bottom. Um, I can do top. I can do bottom. I can do left. I can do right. Um, but yeah, so there's margin uh, top and bottom three, which is awesome. And that looks good to me. Wonderful. All right. So in the next episode, we've created our contact form. So in the next episode, we are going to talk about how to send uh, this email using Laravel's uh, built-in notification system. Um, instead of saving this to a database, we're going to use the notification system in order to make this work. Um, and we'll also include a tutorial on MailTrap and how to set up MailTrap. Uh, that way you can uh, test out your application 
uh, you know, in development, but then when you move to production, you can change it to uh, Gmail or, uh, you know, any type of other email service provider uh, that will allow you to send, uh, send and receive emails. I will explain all of that in the next episode. Um, if you like this video, if it was uh, informative and descriptive, uh, or if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. Hit me up on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter is at underscore webdevhacks. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Smash the like button. Hit subscribe. You know what to do. Thank you very much for tuning in.